Grace? Do you guys yes. want see-through masks? Sure. There's one. Do you want one, Gracie? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> want, yeah. You want them to see your face? Oh, uh, not really. She's got her hair adjusted. Is that working? Or yeah. What? Yeah, is this your working. friend, Grace? Yeah, yeah this yeah. is Grace. Grace and Gracie? Right. Yeah. <laughs> we like to keep it easy. Yes. Well, hi, Grace. Hi. See, I thought she was talking about me. <laughs> so, we'd like to welcome. Gracie, you do the welcome. Okay. I'm going to do comments here, make sure everything's set up. Hey, guys. Um, It's obviously our celebration. So we have some stuff to show you guys. Um, Hi, Sue. Out. How are you? Hi, Carolyn. 15 people. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Peggy. Um, we have one of my... your quick. My bad. Shush. Can I tell you? I'm doing this. <laughs> um, we have one of my favorite fabric lines on the sale. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this is Grace, by the way. Hi. So we have Gracie and Grace, just so you're not confused. Um, so you can go by Gracie too now. You can call me whatever you want. Just Gracie if you have any questions. Uh, oh, um, <laughs> okay. And our helpers are Greta and Janet. Oh, and I'm Janet. Kathleen. Oh, Peggy's still team Gracie. Okay. Um, so actually, Grace, oh, uh, Greta put it in her car. No, it's right here. Oh. You could show them. Her binding has been attached. It just needs to be sewn to the back. So close. So close to being finished. Huh, Team Gracie. I don't know why they did Devin's first. He's the least important person. Hi, Ann. But that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. And then there's my dad behind the camera. He looks kind of weird right now. I don't know what he's doing. We're trying to figure out your camera. What you guys um, look oh, like. Connie, you know what? Gracie has the whole next week off. And Hi, Grace Connie. does. Grace and Gracie. They have no school next week. So it's kind of like a year of pretty much vacation. vacation. No school. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so if you're new to watching this, um, we're going to hold up an item kind of like this, Thread Magic, because everybody needs Thread Magic. And then if you want to buy it, you just need to comment that you would like S01 and how many of them you would like. So if you're new, all you have to do is comment what you would like. And um, if we have any questions with your comments, we'll respond to you. And if you could give us a call with your address and information, that would be perfect. So we can just get it out as quickly as possible. So um, Thread Magic here, Gracie, one of you guys want to tell them what Thread Magic does? You can just read back here or you can read the highlights here. This guys, I only see the tights right now. <laughs> uh, so Thread Magic is a thread conditioner and it may, it helps your machine run smoother with less re-threading. And that is what? Uh, $7.49 for S01. Got it. Got it. Now, if you want, you can bring it up to the camera and you can show I think Connie Wiggins, <laughs> or you can put it under here. I don't know how it works this way. Connie Wiggins wants you to put Gracie in a box and send her to Chicago. Oh, Connie, okay. I love you. I'd so do it. Um, okay, then we put it on that table. Then the next thing we have is a quick pocket guide embroidery. So a lot of you do already have this. We have shown this before, but if you need to know how to do different stitches, this is a step-by-step -step quick reference guide. Super good price, S02, $4.95, $4.95. So it's great. It tells you what size needles to use on what kind of fabrics. It tells you um, how to transfer your designs how to begin stitches, how to end stitches, preparing your yarns and flosses, all kinds of good tips and tricks here. So, S02495. They literally said the same thing. Who did? Kathleen Rader and then Elizabeth Ringer. Ringler. And, then, and then we have one piece of random fabric I found upstairs. So first, to start off today, we're doing kind of random things. Zero 03, it's one yard of fabric for $6. Do I just press Pam on this to get this, like, view? No, Dad does it. Oh, Dad. You just slip stuff underneath it when you have something. There you go. Yeah. So this is pirate fabric. Gracie 
wants to be important, so she's going to show you up close. I'm always important. So, um, yeah. Do we know how much yard is it? It's one yard. Oh, it's one yard. Probably the kids probably played with it and turned it down so it wouldn't. Oh, so it would charge faster. Yeah. So when you, you get it back yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Bring Gracie was saving energy on the iPad, so it's hard to see. So she's gonna fix that for Roger. So we only have one of these S03. So if you're into piratey fabric, it's by Robert Kaufman. It's called A Pirate's Life for Me. So cool. zero three, F sold, gone. Boop, boop. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> um, All righty. Janet, I don't want you to do that one because when I go back and watch it, it cut different feed comes in. So, because it, it just does it that way. This one here. This one? Mm -hmm. All right, another random thing. So we only have one of these. These are patches that I found upstairs. You can take them apart so that they can see how many there are. Oh, there's two. So S05, $3. That's the first one. S05, $3. Fun little Asian patches. Kathleen says, it? good job, Grace and Gracie. Oh, yeah, we're so good, we're good at this. this. Hi, Judy. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> All right, so that is S05, $3. Oh, you can throw that one under there. And uh, Peggy, our resident expert okay. on embroidery, says that that thread guide is a good one. That's one you want in your, in your stash. Okay, so pin that back to that so we don't lose it. And then we've got um, a flannel sale. So we're going to put these out so you can see what this goes under the small one. So you can just put those nicely under there. And then, um, do you want to show them the rickrack before I show them this? Well, you put the rickrack out first. Okay. Okay. We'll Here. do that. S07. All right, so what Grace is showing you is a little fit. Oh, here you can do it kind of like this. There's that one, and then there's... so what Grace is showing you is the collection. So the collection is S zero one three one yards. There's seven one yards for forty nine dollars, seven half yards for twenty six dollars, or seven fat quarters for sixteen. So that's $7 a yard. So if you don't want to think and you just want the collection, this is a great fabric. Um, this would be a fun fabric to use um, with the one yard, three one yard quilts. The easy peasy one that actually doesn't say three one yard quilt on the front. Okay, so that's the collection. Up. And then here we have S08, $7 a yard. S06. And then S07, because we can't really put things in order. Okay. <laughs> Just to keep the girls on your toes. Okay. <laughs> Usually Nan talks about things like Gracie and Grace, you can tell us about like your plans for Valentine's Day. Or... I will love. Oh, me too. Oh, Gracie, introduce your friend again. Mary Beattie would like to know who she is. Mary, Mary Beattie. Beattie. You show up late to the party. You're always mm. Mary. That's all right, Mary. We love you. Better we got you. <laughs> we got you. Say hi, Grace. Hi. That's great. Excuse me. No, we're different. That's Dora. They are FFA buddies. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. uh, so I have S10. No, we show them the cold collection. S09 and, and, so and S11, because again, we don't know how to count. Uh, so these are kind of just S10 right here with Gracie, S09 and S11. $7 a yard by Timeless Treasures. Super good price point. So if you need to make a manly quilt or just a brown quilt, I mean, <laughs> Not to say girls couldn't have a brown quilt. And Grace is showing it under the close-up camera. 
It's a different one. Where is that one? Oh, don't worry. Oh, and then here is the last one from that collection. So S is one, two, S12, last one from that collection. I would match it. Okay. All right. And then the next one we have is we're kind of at the end of the yardage, but we do still have kits. So this is S15, $100 for a mere price of $100. It's usually $129.95. So with this kit, you can make, let me yeah. show you, this quilt here. And then with my leftovers, I made four placemats. And then I also made a pillow. And then I made another pillow because I had more leftovers. But you need it, um, it's sideways. Where is this supposed to go? This way? That way? There you go. Okay. Why? And then I also made another be? pillow. So you need this much yardage to get the um, border print to line up so that you can fussy cut it. I, however, did not fussy cut it because I didn't really see a difference in anything. So, and this was kind of my experiment with the round pillows. <laughs> They kind of are like weird and pokey, but I don't know how you would stuff them any better. If anybody has any tips or tricks, share with us now for somebody that gets the kit. The and then, the what? Just turn it all and just shove it up. Yeah, but it won't stay. <laughs> it just keeps going back into the center. Uh, gravity. So then here <laughs> is a table runner that I also made with the leftovers. So you got a whole bunch of fun projects here with uh this kit so for a hundred dollars you get a table runner for mm -hmm. placemats or you could do eight placemats and not so many pillows or whatever your heart desires so s are you one paying five. attention s15 i'm looking at the thing if i can get the glare off okay see my talent dad i got the glare off <laughs> without your help cool all right oh. Katie Bandhauer says, she, Gracie, she told you she could get you a date for Valentine's. He might be 27. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. What was the other one? It was like 22. Yeah. I mean, sure. You know what? Why not? Oh, that's a, good, that's a good idea. So, um, uh, Cindy Thompson said to add tassels to the corners. That would be super oh, no. cute. And we have a ton of tassels. So maybe on Monday, if I get to it, I might add some so you can see what it looks like. So that's a super fun springy project for you girls. Um, then we have in the same design, but in a different, with the black background, we have a yard and a half for $18, S19. So this works with your 60 degree rulers also. So we only have a yard and a half of this left, and then we have a one yard piece. So S19 is $18 for the yard and a half. S19, and then S18 for the one yard piece. So we only have two pieces of the black colorway left as far as I know. It has really fun dragonflies there, super fun and cute. See it? Butterflies, dragonflies. It'd be fun to thread paint all the flowers. So much you could do with it. And then we have two pieces left from that collection also. All right, so we have a yard and then a half yard. And that is S22 for $16. So you get the one yard piece and the half yard piece for $16. So we're just trying to clean up here, girls. So put it in your stash instead of our stash. Okay, and then on the back of this quilt, I did a wide back. So I put this one. A wide back is actually 108 inches wide by whatever amount you purchase. So if you get two yards, you're going to get 72 inches by 108. And if you do the math, wide backs are super um, economical because you're actually getting two and a half yards of fabric for the $20, uh, $19 price. So two and a half yards, what's that girls? Two and a half goes into 19, how many times? We look at a before, she said girls. It's like, it's less than $9, $9 a yard, eight or $9 a yard. 
I got nine. Yeah. Close enough. So S20, $19 a yard. This is what I used on the backing. And then the this is the background fabric. So that's what the blocks are set with. Is this cute little pin dot by In the Beginning, Floral Menagerie. And it is $12 a yard, S17. And then we have some of the border print left. So S16, $12 a yard for the border print. S16. <laughs> Can we end it? <laughs> oh, it's like torture, huh? <laughs> We're gonna want to go to dinner after this. Yeah, I can you better make some reservations. It's a little oh. late. Okay, and so then we have this cute no, little no, baby. No, no. It's got softy on one side. Um, this is from Dinky Babies. Um, I don't even know if she's still in business, but it's a cute little thing. It's got sateen on one side, already finished. So it's kind of like a cabbage patch kid head. Look at little nose. She's got nostrils there. So S31, $22, already finished. I feel like Super I have one of those. Cute. You did not have one of those. Looks like a little bulldog to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Like a baby bulldog. Oh, yeah. Roger's um, selling abilities are amazing. <laughs> Lynn Bonner, thank you for doing the math for us. And then we have. 760, Mom. 760? Pretty nervous. 7.6. Okay, good job, Lynn. Alina G to always get us out of trouble. Um, so S14, $1.50 for Jumbo Brown Rick Rack. S14. Okay, you put it somewhere. Oh, there, oh, there it is. I don't have the split screen on mine anymore. You should. It's on mine. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay. So Jumbo Brown Rip Rack S14, $1.50 a yard. Any comments? Thank you for sharing, Phyllis. Um, so for those of you that are new, we love it when you share with your friends. And I'm pretty sure your friends will be grateful too because they're not going to want to miss this fun event. And um, we do this every Friday. We have a celebration where we go through the shop and, and find things to bring to you. Um, and we do kind of a mix of stuff that's been here and brand new stuff. So there's always new stuff on the sale. And all you have to do is just comment um, what you would like. So just put like on the Rick Rack S14 for dollar, um, S14 and how many yards you want. So then we have some more fun trims, kind of springy. S48, $4 a yard. This is hand dyed by Rainbow Resource. S48, $4 a yard. Okay, let's see what do we got. Oh, Mary Mint, you're gonna you're gonna confuse me here, I can tell. Um So what I said is, because I, I don't know, I can't, I can't, I, I don't want to get things mixed up. A wide back is, is 108 inches typically. It's equivalent, one yard of a wide back is equivalent to two and a half yards of regular fabric. So regular fabric is typically $13 a yard-ish. And so for two and a half yards, it would be 26 plus six and a half. $30 as opposed to the $20 price. Yep. So, so I think that's what Mary's trying yeah. to say. <laughs> we quit. Mm -hmm. And Lynn Bonner says she likes to use the binding strips, um, the wide back for binding strips because then she doesn't have to piece it. Mm -hmm. So that's another good um, idea of using the binding strips or the wide backs. It's just a good deal all around. Okay. So we only have a few of these fabrics left. So here's a one yard piece for $10. You girls want to hold that up for them? So that's a one yard piece. Super cute baby quilt. Here, hold this. Gracie's got a new hat. <laughs> and everybody's going to want to buy it because it's going to have Gracie's hair in it. <laughs> so this is what this looks like. <laughs> so if you want a quick, easy cheater quilt, 
We have a couple of these left. So one yard is $10, I think. S34 is one yard. If you want it already made, S33 for $39. S33, $39, already made with Minky on the back. So look at how cute. And a variegated thread. And probably the binding's probably hand sewn. So $39, S33, $39 for it already sewn. If you want to do it yourself, S34 for $10. And then we do have a cute little basket, S32. Could be a hat. Could be a hat. Look at how cute it is. Ah, oh, why'd you go so light? It kind of <laughs> looks like, a, you know, the, the guys that drive those little cars in parades? It looks like one of their hats. Shriner. Yeah, Shriner's hat. So S32, $10 for a cute little basket already made. It does, I'm not sure what, but it's pretty stiff and sturdy. So S32, $10 for a cute little basket. And then I do have a two yard piece, S35 for $20. So S35, $20 if you want a two yard piece, makes for a cute springy project. And then we have a couple of tools. You girls can reach them. So this is the tool that you need for this quilt. Except for it's not because they sent me the wrong side. So, um, so don't get this to make that project, but you do need a larger one of these for the collider ruler, or just do like I did and create your own template. So Grace is going right. to read to you and tell you what the collider ruler does. Should I like, then, do the qu okay question? Grace, Two different you can do the triangles like this are needed for no, kaleidoscope no, blocks. Okay. How do I know what size to cut? Answer. That's easy. Everything you need to know is on this ruler. Wow. <laughs> Marketing skills right there. That kind of just confused me. But... <laughs> so this is a chain piece thread cutting gizmo. Um, it's to re reduce thread cutting time. And you need freezer refreezing. Sam says spectrum when you need them. We're good. It is the extra hand you it need. It is freezing a little. Well, now it is. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Grace, sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> it is the extra hand you need to help separate chain piece units when quilting. To safely cut the threads between the chain piece units, simply hold the fabric with both hands and slip the thread into the slot on top of the chain piece cutting gizmo, this piece. The embedded razor blade cuts the thread quickly, easily, and safely. The non-slip bottom ensures that it will safely stay in place when used. Five replacement blades and the magnetic screwdriver needed for blade changes are stored on the gizmo. Alrighty. And that's S121? Yes. So for you gadget, S121 for $15. For you gadget girls, you're going to want this next to your sewing machine for when you're um, chain piecing. And um, Lynn, uh, Lynn Jenkins, uh, I'm trying to get more gadgets for you because I know you're a collector. I just for the cool box. I don't really know how to close cool. it. The box is pretty cool. Okay, then we're going to bring this line back. We did do it last week, but a couple people missed it and asked about it. So we've got S031 is the collection. Grace is going to show you the piano. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Janet, you can start putting names on baskets and getting that stuff ready. Okay, so that's the panel. S21, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that heat moldable batting, which you girls are going to wish that you bought it when we had it uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, because I bought it like so long ago before it became popular. It was like half the price when I bought it before. And so I just ordered a new shipment. And when it came in, I looked at the price and I told Roger not to price it because I'm sure they made a mistake, but they did not. 
So I think because it's become so popular or maybe there's something in it that they're having a hard time getting or something. So now they've increased the price. So, um, so we'll probably have that again on next Friday sale. Um, but the, I think I'm gonna do some thread painting. This is gonna be a fun one, I think, to embellish. So we might do an embellishing class like we did with the pumpkin class. Um, I don't know. Ann Linda Meyer, what great ideas do you have for this hummingbird one? Super fun. And so then we do have coordinating fabrics. Can I close it now? Yep, you can close it. Making me do all this extra work. For okay. Time. So here are the bolts that coordinate with that panel. S28, $13 a yard. S27, $13 a yard. S30, $13 a yard. And S29, there's seven, let's see, eight fabrics in this collection. So eight, oh I, oh, I did. I was gonna say, I meant to go find an orange to go with it, but I did. Okay, so you can take these ones away, Grace. Which ones? These all ones? of these. All of these. Got it. And then we've got the other ones that coordinate with it. S26 is orange, S25 in the middle, and then S24. So I hope Spectrum's watching. Um, they, Spectrum actually got all of our information so that they could watch from their office instead of coming in to see if they can figure out where the glitchy stuff is coming from. Although they did say I should probably just buy, increase my um, subscription. So, so it goes from one price to doubling the price. Um, so S23, $13 a yard. I guess that's a good solution. If you can't provide a good service, just increase the price. Alrighty, and for the collection, it is S31. Why? I don't know. Because it's there. So special. Alrighty, for the one yard cuts, it is $96. For the half yard cuts, it is $48. And for the fat quarter cuts, it is $28. Good job. That's Grace. my announcement voice. Good job, yes. Gracie and Your Grace. Announcements are fantastic, whereas mine sound awful. I always okay, so now we have a fabulous collection that just came in. It is a larger collection, so I've broken it down um, into four colorways. Um, so I'm going to show you the colorways, the colorway collections first. So that you're not, so you kind of have an idea of what you might want. It's a little bit like the elegant teapot that sometimes you guys buy. Um, so here is um, so I what I did is I did two of them that have peacock in it and two of them that don't have any peacocks in. Oh, sorry, I lied. I almost had it. Okay, I just like to point out that she is completely ripping you guys off. I am? Because, no, 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 not the price, but she only did the white panel, but we also have a black panel. I didn't know we had a black panel. And then we also have a white and black panel of just a really large peacock. We do? I've never seen them. Can you go get them, Grace? I mean, I could, <laughs> but I'm kind of in the space right now. Do I need to come forward to you? <laughs> okay, so Grace is going to get the other panels that I didn't know existed. So this panel is S45 for $12. And it is okay, like here, the block. Put them, um, let's put it like this for now so that they can see the different colors. Okay, so Roger here, can you show them Excuse me, the Roger. different collections? Yeah. Wait, there's one more collection. Sorry, girls. So this one's going to be S063. This one's going to be... And then we'll show you. I just want you to have an idea because it's our, such a large line what your options are going to be. So, isn't that one pretty? Yeah, that whole line is 
Mm -hmm. So this one has a peacock on it. So some of them, I tried to do like this one here doesn't have any peacocks necessarily. It's just fabulous scrollies and fun things. So super rich, super nice. Basically, lied again. We have a teal one. Not Gracie lied one. again. So let's get some numbers put on those panels. <laughs> Don't chip on the cords. <laughs> I can't even get past the tripod. Okay. So we're going to start with these while Gracie gets the panels ready. So here is, this goes with collection S044. So if you want that collection with the purples and the peacocks, it's going to be seven one yards are $84, seven half yards are $42, seven fat quarters, 26 for this collection here. Let me fix this one. Okay, so S37 is just a great black with some texture. S. 38 is purple, a lighter purple with the same texture. And this one's called Fanfare Black Peacock Flourish. And then here is, thank you. Here is a fabulous peacock. Here, you want to hold it and I'll get more. Here, Devin, you want to hold this while I read the comments? You know, I'll just, I'll do that. Okay, perfect. Okay. Get there. So this is all different peacocks? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Dorothy yeah. Gerard. How are you? Oh my goodness, I think it's so hot in here today. Turn on I'm the to put my desk back on. <laughs> okay, so here it is with the black background. What? Oops, did I step in front of you guys? You need me? So S155. S155 is the panel with the black background. So S155. S155. Did that pass seven times, Devin? S155. All right, grab some Okay. And then um, we have here, I'll switch you. Okay. Look at how fast we go when man's not here. And then here. S157 is the white background of the large. So it would be fun to make a wall hanging with this one and then make placemats with the smaller squares. And you know, I can't make up my mind when I'm with the sales rep, kind of like you can't make up your mind right now. So for me, it's just easier to say, I'll take one of everything. So if you girls want to go ahead and do that, just feel free. So Gracie's got the black one. S one five six. I hold the other one because I know we got one more. We do. One more L. I think we already showed the black one. <coughs> we showed it. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then so the the collection we just showed you was S zero four four for the seven one yards of this. Oh. So you can just roll that through there real slow. And then Gracie, tell them if they're peacock lovers while they're looking at those fabrics. Okay, if you, right here. Thank you. If you're a 
If you're a peacock lover, we also have a diamond dart. This is directed towards Connie and everyone else who does diamond art. Everybody does diamond art. If you've never done diamond art, um, I would start with a bookmark or a, a pencil journal. case or a journal. They're super fun and addictive. And your kids will love them. Your grandma will love them. Connie will love them. Everybody will love them. What's not to love about diamond art? So, yeah. Anyway, it's basically a really big peacock diamond art. So you can have the placemat, the wall hanging, and the diamond art. Okay. Number and place. Oh, the number is S142, and it is $40. Oh, and it is 20 by 24, if that's helpful to anyone. All righty, cool beans. Okay. Then the next colorway is going to be S46. S what? Uh, oh, this one. Um, S055. <laughs> so this dude, yeah. <laughs> so S055 has eight pieces in it. So this one, Dorothy, you're totally going to want. That one is fabulous. Alrighty, this is S46, $13 okay. a yard. It's metallic -y, has all the purples, all the blues, all the teals, and then some black in between. Uh, so that's what my dad is showing you right now. The next one is S47, also $13 a yard. Um, it's blue, flourish, E. <laughs> 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 I don't really know if that's a word. Probably not. Um, S49. Hey, Diana, we'll see you later. I hope you're doing good. S49 is a lighter blue, and it looks kind of like fans, if I'm being honest. Maybe like seashells. I don't really know how you would describe that one. And then S50 is... A dark Swirl. blue swirl. Yeah, that's a good term. Swirly. Diana, I hope you're not driving also. Is she driving? As in the driver while you're watching. Mary Beatty wants to know if the black peacock collection is really charcoal. Um, no, no, it's black. It's black. It's black as black. Is black. Um... Dorothy, did you post a picture of your applique in the group? Post a picture so I can see it. But you know, it always gets worse. Applique always is worse before it gets better. All right, these are also a part of this SO55 collection. So the first one is S51. It's more well, thank geometric, you I guess. Husband's driving, so she's just watching. Like you could see, like the squares and geometry, which I am failing right now. But we will not comment on that. Ouch. Seventh period, guys. Oh, I need to. <laughs> I need to log into that okay. too. Oh, the girls are um actually in school today. Here, I'll hold this while you guys log in. No, I can do it later. Okay. S fifty two. I don't know why they're <laughs> always late to class. As <laughs> if you weren't your job, it's really important. Yeah. Does she always talk this much? Mm -hmm. Okay. S52 is peacock wings. Feathers? They don't have wings, Feathers. do they? Feathers. Do they have wings? Though? I think they do have wings because they can fly. I don't think peacocks can fly. Yeah, they I think can. They can. Yeah, they can. They can. I've never you seen a flying peacock. Family. We grew up with peacocks. We have peacocks I have never life. seen a flying peacock. That's because they're always. Walking. You also never see a flying flamingo. Okay, moving on. Yeah. Have you ever seen one? No. All right, S53 is yeah, more feathers. They're flowy. <laughs> flowy feathers. Flowy feathers, as Grace likes to say. Uh, Diana, I might have to take you up on that. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm actually kind of failing. And then S54. How would you describe that, Dad? It's like an tie-dye flourish. Oh. Teals, blues, purples, pink. Um, where do you see pink? Seven. On the back over here? Yeah, customer. That's purple. Okay, light purple. <laughs> purple. 
I'm glad we can see things. Glad we know our colors. Alrighty, so that was that collection. Um, what were these, Mom? Um, those were from the first collection. Okay. Only if you want to go. Mm. Who's going to share their fried bread with me? Okay. Give me a second. Dad, Dad's yelling at me over there. I hope it's okay. there. Yeah. Mom, move on to the next line. Okay, so here yeah. is the next line, S063, right here, Roger. S0637, uh, one yards or $84, seven half yards, 42, seven fat quarters, 26. We should have done a special price if you bought the whole collection. But we didn't get, we didn't think that far ahead. But we might credit you if you get one yards or half yards or fat quarters of each of the collections. We might have to do something. Are you, are you not gonna help one? Definite maybe. Alrighty. Uh, so for this next collection, we have more flourishy thingies. <laughs> thingies, as in Burst. bolts of fabric. This is one in honors English. So the first one, S fifty six. S57 is a gray fan seashell thingy. It's accurate, Dad. It's accurate. Peggy Kato says, yes, they fly up on the rooftops. And they nest high in trees. And Katie, you know, your future um, mother-in-law, maybe, um, she has a, a uh, wait, what did she say? She had a goat herder or something for you, Gracie. He's only 27. Oh, I, I'm sure that's a catch for sure. Huh? <laughs> the next bolt, S56, is um, fanny, um, maybe not fans. What would you consider that, Dad? Whatever. It's also a tie dye, so there's some teals, oh, dark oh, blues, <laughs> and purples. And it's again like a fan. Gracie, the word is motif. Motif. That's Ooh, cool fancy. <laughs> so that is S56. I'm pretty sure my dad already moved on. Yeah. So <laughs> S59 is some more flourishy peacock feathers. Maybe. <laughs> S59 is metallic -y feathers. Um, S58 is some more geometric wispies. Look, we know words. Also, $13 a yard. S60. Are we moving too fast for them? I don't think so. All right, S60 is... Mm. Paisley, floral, multicolor. Swirly thingies. Feathers. Fabric. <laughs> <laughs> so that is S60. This is actually the same design as what you just saw, but, but just with a two tone. Alrighty. And then the S61 is a light blue, flourishy thingy. It's like the shells. Mary, That's not the shells. Enjoying your laughter, girl. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> oh, motif okay. essay. And then this it. is the motif. last one from that collection. So it's basically just like S61, but purple. It's but purple. So S62 is the purple version of this. Plus, you guys can for, be like um, for news announcer for $13, buddies. <laughs> Okay, so that collection is S063, $84 for um, one yard, $42 for half yards, $26 for fat quarters. And then, thank goodness, we only have one collection left from this line, S071. It also has the border print. So if you're looking for a border print, here it is. It's in collection 71. Mm 
Okay, so here are the bolts for this collection. Turn them off, Frankie. Alrighty, so S64, $13 a yard, is a t uh, I don't know what this teal. What's a different word for that? Okay, whatever. Teal. Yeah. Tonal dark teal. Okay. Peacock flourish. Flourishy. Okay. Um. S sixty five is teal seashell. Fan things. <laughs> I use that word way too much. All right. And then S66, $13 a yard, is the border print. So basically just combines all of the fabrics into a border print. How cool is that? And S67 is a peacock's, but like the background is that teal fan seashell thing. Diana Hampton says that young lady working with you is great. Why, Which one? You. Great. Oh, it doesn't matter. The better one. Great. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. So, Diana, we've got Gracie and Grace here today. I'm going to take credit for me being the great one. <laughs> um, S68 is some more peacock, but the they, background. They do kind of look like ginkgo leaves, Lynn. S68 is the peacock, but with a solid white background. By the way, did I mention that this has like metallic gold? I don't it's know if I did. Pretty. So I hope that you girls watching love peacocks because it's been a peacock kind of day. Peacock. Is that what they say? Or is that <laughs> more like a chicken or something? Grace, lay this one down and turn this one. Lay what? Mm -hmm. Oh. Turn this one so they can see the peacock. There you go. Oh, oh that's kind of shaky. <laughs> I don't have enough muscle for this. Okay. Alrighty, and then S69. Oh, there Not really funny anymore because no one's laughing. But that's fine. Is S69 is like some feathers on a light blue, very light blue. Background, uh, still super metallic y, super shiny for my ladies out there who love glitter, sparkle, shine. Metallics. Metallics. Don't wreck my thingy. Good job, Gold good job. metallics, to be specific. S70 is, I think it's called the, was it the dark tonal teal? I don't know, something dark like that. Teal multi peacock mm -hmm. flourish. More peacock feathers on a dark teal background. Yay. Okay, and then do you wanna just show them real quick, the panels again? So we've got the black background with the large peacock motif in the center. It would be super fun to bedazzle it. I mean, you can never have too many rhinestones what on What about things. this seven panel wonder? Oh, it would be a fun one to do as a seven panel wonder. And in the seven panel wonder, you keep one block, one panel hole. And then you take six panels, line them up perfectly, cut the strips, cut the um, triangles, and then you sew them into hexagons. Super fun. We've done that as a class before. So if any of you need to know how to do that, we can do that. <gasps> Whoa, Gracie's running. Okay. And if any of you guys would like a class on that, I'm sure we can arrange that. And then here, perfect. Oh, Gracie's taking over videography. I don't know what I'm doing. And then one more time, we're just going to show you the small ones. So these would make great pillows, great placemats, great pockets on the tote bag. Hey. Oh, that's a bummer being short, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, so the black one is S155, and the white one is S45. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Did you show this one? Yeah. Do you want me to do it? No, we didn't. Okay. Do you want me to do the video? Later? No, I'm doing great. Oh, I might have hit it again. They might get a little dizzy with me videoing, <laughs> but that's fine. This one is um, S157. So S157 for the 
basically it's a teal in the background you can't really see it here it's got a background motif okay and then s071 is this collection here gracie how much money uh the panels are all 12 dollars. if that is what you are asking about diane if not just tell me what you would like to know the price of and i will let you know oh yeah that last collection we did <laughs> so 71 it was oh 84 dollars seven one yards 84 dollars seven half yards 42 dollars and i only have one of these fun gold metallic fat quarter bundles so if you would like it s115 30 dollars and we do always go with the first person to respond on our device on your device because it's in your home it's going to look like you're the first responder but we um it has to go through all the airwaves so poor katrina in australia she's probably never the first responder but s115 30 dollars for 12 dollars you want to show them under there okay so and then you can just kind of she's wanting to know can you measure how big these blocks are Um, we can plug it in. Put it on the camera more. Okay, so one of the metallic bundles, it's S115 for $30. And then we have S72, which is a gold metallic called Precious Metal Gold Rush by um, Vintertex, I believe. Okay, so if you just want this, a lot of times I'll use this as an inner border around the panel to kind of set it off before I put all the different fabrics. All right, next we have the rainbow softy. In case you're softy. into peacocks, we've got the rainbow softy. It's 60 inches wide. It's very soft. And then somewhere, oh. So that's the rainbow one that is S73, $20 a yard. And then we do have some random pieces of the other colorway of the softy. This is the colorway you want, Mary Men's, but we don't have the size you want. So you, you still have to wait. It hasn't come in yet. These are just from the previous cut. So this is S131, and it's a yard and three quarters for $31.50. A uh, yard and three quarters for thirty-one fifty. It's sixty inches wide, so S one three one, and then this one is S one two nine, and it's a one yard piece. So one, it's thirty-six by sixty for eighteen ninety-five, and then this one is another one yard piece. So we've got another one yard piece for S one three two for eighteen ninety-five. That's a close up of it. Again, it is very soft. And then we have some trims here. S75. It's purple piping. So S75 is a dollar fifty a yard. S75 is purple piping. And then we have S74, $1 a yard. Oh, the softy is pretty luxurious. And so we've got a couple of trims there. Paint splatter. There. Hmm? Paint splatter. It does kind of look like paint splatter. Yeah. So S74, $1 a yard. And then we have are some specials so here are all of these are seven dollars a yard yep okay you want to show those so here's some stuff you can add to your landscaping collection s1 s123 is a green like grassy kind of looking from a ways away like an airplane and then this one s125 
is like petrified wood. And these are all, this three are seven dollars a yard. And then S, it's like 124 a is like bricks, but rock bricks instead of the brown bricks. Turn to the side. Flip it. Lateral. Horizontal. Mm. One of those. Landscape. Sure. <laughs> Landscape fabrics. You always want to put it in your collection because when you need it, you won't be able to find it. Then we have two pairs of baby shoes that are already made. So we've got a cute little um, baby booties, some cowboy boots. And then we have some cute little high top tennis shoes. So both pairs are $25 for this, for both of them. So can't even make it for that price. S102, $25, get you four shoes. My feet used to fit in something like that. Now I'm size seven. I think everybody's feet used to fit in something like that. Okay, don't Just be so. Debbie Downer. Okay, super cute shoes if you've got a baby on its way, which I hear after the pandemic, everybody's gonna be having babies. Okay, S36 is batting tape. So for those of you who have um, leftover batting from your projects, a great way to use them up is to butt two of them together. You just basically put two of them together. You don't want them to overlap necessarily, but you definitely want them to butt up very tightly. And then you just iron this tape onto it. Um, and then, then you can use it to um, put in your quilts. So it's a great way to use up your scraps. S36, $10.95 for two rolls of Marty Mitchell's um, fusible tape. They're one inch wide, 30 um, yards long. So 60, basically 60 yards of fusible tape. Perfect for machine quilters, won't gum up the needle. Perfect for hand quilters, soft enough to needle, needle easily. Lightweight, non-woven fusible, join batting scraps or enlarge small bats. Stabilized seams and bias edges. Oh, sand there redness. That's kind of a good idea to stabilize your seams and bias edges with this. So you learn something new every day. Okay, Carolyn so G says it works great. Perfect. Okay, so then we have um, an Eleanor Peace Bailey. Well, Lace is her name. It's a I pattern. Oh, that holds her up when she's standing. That's a doll stand. Gracie doesn't like the doll stand, so we're trying to get her on bed. So here's the lace. Look at her dress now. Well, because it's been holding her up for years, probably. So it's an Eleanor Peace Bailey, super cute. Fun way to use up all your laces. And you know you all have a drawer full of fun laces that you don't know what to do with. Super easy doll. Yeah, Gracie's got her hand back because um, somehow she's missing a hand. <laughs> we want to talk about that. So the lace is um, $10. S103, $10 for the lace. And then is I that the name? Is that the doll's name? Yeah, the lace. The lace. The lace. You can't see it. Oh, the lace. And then here is another book by Eleanor Peace Bailey. It's actually a CD and it's got 10 doll patterns in it. So S116, $20. It's called The Doll is a Messenger, The Body's Language. And it, um, I printed it out so that you could see what it actually looks like. Um, but it gives you all the directions. Here, it's page after page. Uh, written instructions, how to do heads, how to what the shoulders mean, hands. Um, it's a really, really good read. Um, so for there, here's Mother Earth. So these are all the different patterns and how to sculpt faces. Ah. Here's Tiffany and the baby. That's a little graphic for my. Oh, look, standard. it's a little crate. Well, look at once she's done. Let's see which one is she. She's right here. So see what she looks like when she's dressed up. 
a little graphic. Okay. So it's ten patterns. Here's is that one worse? <laughs> there it is. Here's the naked, <laughs> the before and the after. Gracie, <laughs> no premarital sex because that's what might happen to your little body. <laughs> Your feet are gonna grow. Your feet are gonna spread like crazy. Yep. Why okay, so here because she shows you the body before. So this is a super fun book if you want to explore the doll and um all kinds of fun stuff. Oh look at Eleanor's bead drawer will make anybody jealous. Isn't that amazing? Just the bowls that she collects to put her beads in are fun. <laughs> so if you guys missed, if you're into doll making and you missed our um, our class with Eleanor last Wednesday, we do it the second Wednesday of every month from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And um, I think next month's theme is going to be chairs, I hear. Okay, so S116, $20 is for the CD that makes um, this book here that I just showed you. So S116, $20. It's a great way to kind of introduce yourself into doll making or to expand what you're already doing in your doll making life. And then we have a finished book made by Eleanor Peace Bailey. So S117, $45. I only have one of these. So Eleanor made this for us a while ago. It actually is a um, book for your sewing. So here you can put your projects into here. So there's pockets in all these for your projects to go into. They're sewn at the bottom. Then she's got a pin cushion here. She's got where you can put your spools of thread here. It Velcro's on, I think. She's got a bag for you to put your pens and, and different um, uh, tools in here. And then if you read the sayings, Gracie, can you read them? Oh, I went to the fabric store for a symbol. I forgot what happened after that. <laughs> so Fifi, and we ha actually have a doll that we call Fifi that um, travels with us when we go and do her treats and things. She does a lot of crazy things. I don't need to find myself. I'm always at the sewing machine. <laughs> Shopping list, fabric, fabric, quilting fabric sewing fabric and more fabric so that's 45 dollars. i only have one of those made by eleanor peace bailey and is that saying great say oh you? the best way to tell if you're a fabric addict is to check your stash if you can see the ceiling it's not that bad yeah see and then they have these cool little jewels on the back she embellished it with a ribbon and a flower and buttons and Look at her fluffy slippers. They're it's a feather. So only one of those made by Eleanor Peace Bailey. Forty five dollars. That's one on seven. Prozac. <laughs> Prozac, Schmozac. Haven't these people ever heard of a fabric store? Who even says that? Okay. Okay. Tony, I'm not surprised. <laughs> but Tony actually won. Eleanor only had one copy of her. Um, rag doll from playing to fancy on Wednesday and Connie won it. But I think Connie, um, I can't wait to see your face when you get it. Okay. S76, $4 and 59 cents. It's iron clean. The easy way to clean your iron surface removes, removes fusibles, basing, sticky residue. Um, you can check out on their website, all the great uses for it. Sorry. It's got a, so S76, a lot of people say, oh, just use a bounce dryer cleaner, but that actually does not have the same chemicals in it as this has. Um, so this is actually formulated to clean the fusibles off of your iron. And like Linda McGee, he said the other day in one of our classes, um, don't wait till your iron gets brown and gross. Do it on a regular basis. Okay. S76 iron clean. Then we have a fun camping. Four fifty nine. We have a fun camping. Um, you can turn these into placemats. That's what they're um, originally made for. So S ninety nine ten dollars for the panel to make four placemats, or you could turn it into a table. Um, 
not a table runner, but like a skinny wall quilt, or you could turn it into pillows. You could embellish it. You could do all kinds of fun stuff. You so have instructions. Yep, instructions right there. So even Grace could do it, huh, Grace? I could do it. Yep. Oh, we might make that your project. <laughs> Okay, so S99, $10 for the camping panel. S99, $10. And then we have a coordinate. We only have one piece of that. So it's S, uh, S98 is the coordinating camping. And it's one and a third yards for $15. Oops, turn it this way. This so way. Yep. And then we have one fat quarter bundle left of the coordinating fabrics. So the the one yard piece is S, it's a yard and a third, S98, $15. So it'd be great on the back of your placemats or it would be cute as curtains in your camper or it'd be a fun quilt that you could throw around and take camping with you. And then we do have one fat quarter bundle left, S101. $29 for eight fat quarters. So $21 for eight fat quarters. It has a fat quarter border print. Here it's got some cute little lanterns. The polka dots are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then this one's a cool one too. So one fat quarter bundle, S101, $29. And then we do have um, some some yardage of the um, stripe. <laughs> Devin about no, no, no. fell on his face right in front of the girls. But Mary Beattie said hi to him. She was glad uh, to see him. Oh, Mary Beattie enjoyed seeing you, Devin. Mary, too bad you weren't here. You could have caught him just like he's had to catch you. S100, $11 a yard. And then we have some fun camp. Uh, this is pocket knives, but it's got pocket knives and then it's also got forks and spoons, more camping themed. S94, $15. It's one and three eighths yard. That's our last piece. So if season's on, you might need to get this for Charlie. It'd be a cute pillow for kids that want to sleep on knives or something. I don't know. Ooh. All right, then. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then we just have a few the shoe make way. I don't put it past Charlie. Um, here are a few pieces left. Um, this is all we have. So if you guys saw Charlie's quilt, he did the curvy Katie Banhauer. Charlie, who's like eleven, did his own quilt out of this fabric. So this is we've got um two one yards and a half yard left of this. It's ten dollars a yard. So this one is the camping this, and then yours is slightly different. So we have a one yard piece of this, S97, $10 a yard, and then S96, I have two one yards and a half yard left of. Speaking of oh, you know, it might be the same. Um, I tried to figure it out today, know. and it was this morning. Do you have an orange tint? Yeah, I got an orange tint down here. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, it's the same. Okay, girls. So, I don't, know. don't get the numbers of, confused. Um, so you can put whatever number you want, S97 or S96, mm -hmm. um, since it's the same fabric. But if you need an outdoorsy, realistic, look at how cute, look at Bambi right here with her mom. Look how cute it is. The little it's details are super fun. Bambi's a he. Come on, dude. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm suffocating behind my plastic. Um, <laughs> S97, $10 a yard. I only have this much left. Susan, if you're on, can I come steal your children? Oh, Gracie is in love with Charlie. And Ella, mostly Ella. Ella's the best. Ella is pretty hilarious. She's got a lot of her mom in her and a lot of her grandma. Yeah, but she'll at least give me a hug. Okay. Um, so here is kind of a uh, Tahoe-themed wilderness. I, this is, I think, our last yard of this. I don't know if you can it's see. It's upside down. If you can see the moose there. What's and the then, plural for moose? Meese. Meese? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I put 
these two. It's two one yards S95 for $20. So two make great pillows or placemats well, or anything fun. You can you see have. in this one that it's snowing. And there's a bunch of meese. Meese. If Leilani's <laughs> on, she might want to get this so she can remember her fun days in Tahoe. So S95, $20 for two one-yard pieces of these um, woodsies. Okay, what's fabrics. a pearl for deer? Deers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we have... Um, I don't know. I think we only have two of these panels left, but I couldn't get Devin to give me a, I don't think he really did a thorough look for it. Okay. Was it in the inventory? inventory. Well, hold it steady, ladies, yeah. please. So S, S what, Roger? S90. Hi, zero. Good to see you. S90. $10. <laughs> Kinda. Little cute cowgirls. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, it's me. Look at me go. I'm um, Teresa. Alrighty. So that was S90, $10. Let me go find, you girls keep showing. I'm going to find a turn it all tool for Teresa. Um, It's on that big island. Oh, it's uh, yeah. Looks like it, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, you still here? here? I'm gonna just put those aside. Moving on. All right. All right. Our our next thing is S ninety one. This is the corrugating border print. And yeah, there's some boots up there. Cactuses. Cacti. Cactuses. Cacti. Cacti. <laughs> More boots. Um, some, 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 what is that? Flowers? Some moldy flower? Is that mold? <laughs> no. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> pollen. Oh, pollen is black. No, pollen is yellow. Mm, okay, S91, $10 a yard. Um, S89, $549 a yard. It's just a paint, plain black. Oh, wait, is this the, is the interfacing? What? Yeah, this is the interfacing. We didn't know what you wanted to do with this, is it? It's Both, by the yard. That, yeah, it's by the yard, and okay. we only have three of them left. So, we'll just move on from that one. That's 92. Are these... Oh, wait, bring that back, and I'll talk about it, because I'm sure you girls didn't know. No, no. I know it's interfacing, okay. that's yeah. all I got. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is this cowgirl on a white background and then you have so i have three one yards of it and it's ten dollars a yard so if you want all three one yards that would be thirty dollars so i can do math thank you thank you <laughs> and then we have one fat quarter bundle that coordinates with that left so s93 for 24 dollars is how many fat quarters mm -hmm. Seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight fat quarters for what do we do with the oh, twenty-four dollars. So S93, twenty-four dollars for eight fat quarters. Deal of the century. And it's folded so nicely. That's what I go home and do every night. You realize when I ship those, I never keep it together. Right? You don't? No. Why not? It they want them pretty box. like that. Well, they buy it pretty, but it doesn't go to them pretty. Oh, um, oh S93, $24. Okay, so I'm going to just show you how to use the turn it all tool real quick. So this, it comes in small, medium, and large. So if you're doing doll making, bag making, handles, straps for clothes, any kind of tubes. What you're going to do, this one is closed at the end. So this one's a little bit easier than if it was open. So I'm gonna just drop this into here. I put this here and I'm gonna work it over this, the dowel. You don't try to shove it into the pipe, although 
I get calls all the time because people call me and say, my fabric is stuck in this. They can't get it out. But did you just see that? How easy that was? I'm going to drop it one more time. If you do doll making. Show, show, the, show the little, the end. Okay, so I've got a tube here. End of the tube. Right? I've got a, I've got a tube and I've got a stick. And it comes in three different sizes. So there's a tiny little one when you're doing doll fingers, a medium sized one, and a larger one. So you're going to drop this in like this. Teresa, this is what you need. And you're just going to take this and you're going to pull it over your stick. Okay. So you see how easy that was? And then you can use your stick to push out the corners. It's a little bit more tricky if you have two open ended sides, but it's really not that tricky. What is that tube made out of? Mine doesn't have a tube. Did you buy one of these? Well, no, I got something 20 years ago. Babe. Well, you got the wrong thing. You're going to want one of these. Uh huh. So, and people always say, oh, just use a chopstick. It's not the same thing, okay, girls? So don't use a chopstick because you're going to be sorry. So look at, see here, I'm going to put this in like this. Uh, wait. Yeah, I'm going to put this in like this. I'm going to pull it over the tube. Then I'm going to just kind of take the end and pinch it like this to kind of create a false closing. Okay? Because a lot of your purses um, are, are not closed on one end. They're open on both ends. And then you just work it like this. So if you're doing hair scrunchies or anything like that, you're just going to pull it like that. I won't tell you what I think that tube looks like. We'll talk about that in a minute. Diane wants to know what that quilt is behind you. Okay, Diane, we're going to talk about it in just a second. So if you don't have a turn at all, you're going to want one of these. They're made in America, and they have been around pretty much my entire 30-year career. And I'm going to show you something really amazing. Hang on a second. I'm going to show you something super amazing. You're all going to have this. You're going to want it because it is right here endorsed by Eleanor Peace Bailey. So right there, see, it's endorsed by Eleanor Peace Bailey. Famous. You guys didn't know how famous we were. Okay, so Diana, the quilt behind us is, this is the kit, it's called Garden of Dreams. It's S15, it's $100 for the kit. S15, $100 for the kit. It includes enough fabric because in the kitting directions, they want you to have extra so you can fussy cut it and get what you want. But you know how I am. I'm going to use up every scrap. So I made the quilt. I made four placemats. I made a table runner with my leftovers. I made a table runner that's very, very large. Like, I don't know, almost five feet tall, probably. And then I also made pillows with the leftovers, and this pillow. How much is that turn in school again? See um, one, 1095. $10. The turn it all is 1095 and you can just write turn it all. So if you missed us in the beginning, this kit S15 makes all those fun springy projects. Okay, did I lose all my helpers? They got bored? We're signing in the class. Oh, okay. Everybody's signing in so they don't get in trouble. So this is S101. Um, so I know that a lot of you have the S101, which is shape flex. It's an interfacing. A lot of times we put it behind our embroidery. S101? It's Pellon Shape Flex S101. So we get, a lot of you have it in the white, but we just got it in the black. So if you're doing a darker project, you might want to add the black to your stash. You can also use it for clothing, for interfacing. Um, so S. You have to make that clear that S101 is that model number for that fabric. 
It's S101. I'm going to make it really clear. Oh. S101 by Pelon Shake Flex. Black or white? You mean S89? No. See, that's exactly what I'm talking no, about. No, it's not S89. It's S101. I know. Say model number S101. Okay, girls. To Just to pacify him, I'm going to say model number. Even though model number has nothing to do with it. But it makes him feel better. So S F. 101 shape flex black it's got a fusible on one side you fuse it to your embroidery it stabilizes it um so s 101 black is what you don't have in your collection and you should s 101 shape flex 88 is um you probably already have it in your collection <laughs> sure we only have one of them oh read all the good points of it all the good ow ah. So we got a ruler cutter. No, your turn. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. That's just fine. Hand pencils. What is that important? Okay, so this is an easy, so easy. Get it? So, S E W instead of S O. Okay, whatever. So easy, five layer cutting mat. Wait. Is this even a five layer cutting mat? No. Okay, why is that on here then? Why are you so confused? Okay, whatever. So you basically just use this and you can cut your fabric. So um, push the red blade carrier handle firmly down, maintaining steady pressure. Use one smooth action to complete your cut. Look at how easy that is. Cindy Gygax, I'm glad you're back. I hope you went to the bank so you have plenty of money to buy whatever your heart desires. Uh, okay, so I can cut through six thicknesses of fabric and then 12 sheets of paper. Um, it's easy to read because <laughs> I got that issue. <laughs> uh, uh, Lynn Jenkins, just roll with it, okay? <laughs> we're so confused. Okay, yeah, anyway, you can use this to cut things, and it's pretty cool. That's all I got. Uh, the number is S04, because we're moving backwards for some reason. So we only have one of those. It's super good if you're teaching your kids how to use the rotary cutter. I'm not that kind of helicopter parent, so I think just put them out and let them cut off their fingers if need be. Um, Devin De did that. Devin did. He was trying to show off to some girls at school. And uh, luckily, the school nurse was showing up, and so she butterfly stitched it back together. Um, okay, so then we have some fun trims and different things in here. Hey, Lynn, how are you? Are you not watching the sale? No. <gasps> what? I need to get my fabric. Did you show it? Oh, I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, I was waiting for you in the unveiling. But you can have a peek right there. Wait, wait, no, no, don't peek. You have to be over here to see it. We all want to see your reaction. Okay, so here is a, a regular 45 degree blade. And the green price. Uh, $40. So S119 is a fun hand dyed rickrack. Kind of like a springy fall. S119 is this colorway. And then S. Yeah, are you? S120 is this fun colorway. So you probably need to add some rickrack to your stash because you never know when you're going to want to use it. But you can't use it if you don't have it. So S120, not Let's that I'm praise what she said. So S120 is the bright one. And then S119. Is dollar. Well, here. Are they really dollar, Roger? Yeah. Can you put them next to each other? Tell me it's not. Size? Size no, the size is the same. The difference is one's kind of more of a fall color, and then one's kind of more of a it's a rainbow. Yeah. Okay. Here, you just need these two. So this one here, the I'm pointing to is 119. This one here is 120, 119. 120, 
Honey has turquoise, magenta 119 oh has orange and limey <laughs> greens. <laughs> Just get them both. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. And then we have a fun little glittery one, S86. S86, $5 a yard. S86, $5 a yard. S86, $5 a yard. Little rhinestones. I don't know what you'd use it for, but you can use it for something. I don't know. It might be cute as a bracelet or... Oh, yeah. yeah. Or it could be a border down a quilt or on a tote bag. S86, $5 a yard. I like that, Grace. A, a dress strap. Huh. Oh, that'd be cute. Is that like the sash part? It could. Is that what that's called? Yeah, that's a sash. I don't know. S87, 75 cents. S87, 75 cents. Oh, the, the battery died. S87, 75 cents. I don't know if you can get up close to that, Roger, so they can see the little roses in there. S87, 75 cents a yard. S87, 75 cents a yard. S87, 75 cents a yard. Your hands almost like blends in with that. Okay. All right, Gracie, we have two of these fat quarter bundles. We only have two. Um, the price is $18, and the there's same? six fat quarters. Yep, they're the same. So you can show those, Gracie. You can kind of put those buttons out with the collection. Rotary cutter, did we answer all those questions? Yeah, you did. Okay. All right, do you girls have words you can talk and say? Description. Uh, it rained last night. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's it was very muddy when I was feeding cows this morning. That's no about it. Okay, so that was S84, $18. And we got two of ones. We got some cool little buttons. I like, take them out of the bags and like put them in piles. That's what you meant? Yeah. Okay, so S77 is $6.95. It's oil for your machine. So if any of you girls are needing oil for your machine, S77, $6.95. It's also called, uh, what do they say? Tooltron Multi Purpose Synthetic Based Oil with TTFF. Ideal for hunting, fishy, hobbing, household, marine, automotive. So you could get this for your husband for Valentine's Day, although it won't get there in time. S77, $6.95. S77, $6.95. The girls are still working on getting the buttons you out. You taste the bag shut. Yeah. Um, okay, good job. S136, this is a super fun pin cushion by Virginia Robertson, $11.95. S136, it's for a super fun pin cushion. Or on this side, she did a, a hatch chili. So you can do spam, whatever your tuna fish, whatever your favorite can is, and then put a cute little stuffed bird on top. S136, $11.95. S136, $11.95. Okay, the girls have buttons out. So okay. tell them about your buttons. So, um, so this first one, it has two in the pack. I don't know if you can see that. But it's kind of like a flower, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, kind of. so that is S82, and much? it is $7.95. So, so these the trim was $4 a yard. These are kind of like pearls with gold, or like a sunshine around the outside. No, we only have one set. 
And there's a bunch of them in the bag. And it's a dollar. S78. S78. S80 are some brown wooden buttons. And there's a bunch in there, and it's three dollars for S80. Phyllis, it snowed where you are. It didn't snow where I, I am. Oh, what a different spot. All right, S81 is a flower. I don't know if you can see it, but it's seventy-five cents. Nope. But she's right here. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. I love you, baby. And there's quite a few in that bag, like six or so. Yeah, six. Yeah. Um, S79 are these silver swirlies. Back to swirlies, guys. We love those swirlies. And then S83. Kind of this vintage looking thingy. Is that a button? It's a button. They are a button. Yeah. I don't know what else you want me to do, sir. Okay, did you show all the buttons? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then we have some fun silver. It's on the on the thing it says Mylar ribbon. So S138, uh, 75 cents a yard. S138, silver Mylar. It's, it's green. They're all different. Which ones did she want? Oh, S83. S83, it's a dollar. S138, 75 cents for the silver mylar ribbon. And then I know several of you have mentioned wanting to make journal covers with the silk. So I'm going to show you the silks in a second. But here's what we did with the journal covers. We kind of um, embellished it with scraps and then um, put a, a netting over it to stabilize it. So this is what we did. The journal cover pattern is 134, S134 for $10. But you can still use this pattern with the silk also. So S134 journal cover. And then if you need a small project because you're going crazy and you don't have enough projects or you want to use up your scraps, here is a fun, here you want to hold that, a fun quick project um, by Virginia Robertson. It's called the Little Bird Banner and Hot Pad. So super fun project. You could whip this out in a day. I think I'm going to try doing it um, once I create enough silk pieces. Um, when you do the silk fusion, you're basically creating your own fabrics. And I'm also waiting for the organza so I can make some of my own fabrics that Linda McGee showed us how to do. And then I think I'm going to use those fabrics that I create to, to make this. So S137, cute little bird banner and hot pad. Now what you guys have all been waiting for. So if you guys were with us on, um, Wednesday, when I demoed the Silk Fusion, you can come over here, Lynn. And Lynn says no. Okay, so I'm going to show you Lynn's. Look at this is what the tree turned out like. Wow. Nice. So this that is Lynn's different. very first time, and she decided she was going to do a tree. So remember, it was windy and kind of we had a few things to, to battle with. But the more you experiment with the Silk Fusion, the more you're gonna find you can do with it. So this is a super fun example of creating your own fabric and your own designs. So this, she can cut away the blonde if she wants yeah. and then applique it onto something. And embellish it. Uh-huh, and, and thread, a thread Exactly, thread painting. And she's got all kinds of ideas. I can't wait to see what she does with it. But you know, this is probably the wrong color, but even if you've sewed it onto something like this, it would be super fun. So that was what Lynn did. Okay, you can have it now. Everybody likes it. It's beautiful. Easier next week because I'm going down to my mom. Okay. All right, perfect. Thank you.
And then this is the one that I did of the sky, which was just simply layering. So if you think you're not artistic or whatever, and you can't do a tree, although, you know, that was kind of just laid out, um, you could do a sky background. So I, I could sew this onto here and embellish it. I could do all kinds of fun things. So here's some of the silk. This is the silk that I made on Wednesday. And then here are a few other silk pieces that we've made in the past when we've been demoing. So if you weren't with us on Wednesday, I'm just going to go through them real quick again. You can show that one. This was just a hodgepodge. And then I um, actually just threw in some yarns and fibers that I found in the trash just to see if they would fuse also. So I can cut this apart. And then um, if I wanted to, I could um, fold it over and sew it into like a purse or it could be a cell phone holder, all kinds of fun stuff. Basically, you're just creating your own fabrics. So here's another one that I just kind of threw some things into, some different fibers. So you can basically fuse, when you use that textile medium, you can fuse anything into it. So look at how fun this would look like on some fun background. And then beat it a little bit, embellish it, all kinds of fun stuff. And then uh, I know Mary Beatty wants to do a journal cover. So you could do something like this and then thread paint it, embellish it, whatever. And then when you do the, I guess when you do a journal cover, you would stitch it so that it would look something like this when you're done. Or it would could make a good checkbook cover or you could sew the edges and make it a holder for your um, scissors or your rotary cutter. Pretty much, it's just fabric. So now we're gonna show you the, um, and here, this one I used um, wool also. So here's some wool fibers from our local sheep. And you can see it does not have the same sheen as the silks. And so what, what I cut away from here, I used on this one. And then this is one of those um, cocoons, those pods that you guys saw. It'll go closer. Is that the cork fabric on the outside? Yeah, exactly. Roger's getting to know his fabric. Wow. Good job. Wow. You're hired, Roger. No way. <laughs> Okay, so we've had a lot of fun with the silks, and I know you want to join us, so we've got, and if you want, we can do another demo, um, and if you if you want, I can tell you when we're going to do the demo, and you can set up at home and do it alongside us. So you're going to want the starter kit. It includes the base hair, so that's what Lynn built her tree on, was the base hair, kind of blonde. Kind of creeps me out because it looks like I've cut my hair. Um, and it's got the screen and it's got the textile medium in there. So the starter kit is $144 for $29.95. And then you're going to want to pick a fun fabric, a fun color. So S144 is what you're going to want with the screen and the different things to, to start you out. And then we have the Silk Fusion Book, S143 for $32. And that has step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to do the silk fusion, tells you all about silks. Um, mm -hmm. And it gives you, <laughs> so here's the step-by-step. -step. She's adding a hanky here. When you get it wet, the hanky's gonna just kind of spread out all willy-nilly. You have really no control over it. So don't overthink it, just do it. But here's some fun projects that you can make once you have created your fabric. Are you girls inspired yet? Okay. All right, so S143 is the book. And then if you need a bigger bottle of the um, textile medium, which is the glue basically that holds it together, S118, 1695. 
And then we're gonna show you. Okay, Gracie. The colors. So, the colors. so say the name of it and then show them the back, okay? All right, so Twilight Valley. It's kind of like purples, browns, blues. So basically a twilight, how about that? Okay, okay, so Lake cool. Superior. It's a blue with some greens. Screaming pinks, obviously, kind of says everything. A bunch of pinks. Maple leaf. And it's all sorts of reds and burgundies. And if you haven't noticed, ladies, they're nineteen ninety nine. Yes. Yes. A uh, plum tree. It's a bunch of royal purples. Are you taking a picture of your fingers or the fabric? <laughs> no. <laughs> so this one is Ruckle Park, and it's a bunch of like browns, reds, greens. Folly colors. Walker hook. So it's like blues, greens, oceany vibes. Teresa, we do sell the textile media. It was number. This one's called Unicorn Tail. S one one eight. S. Oh. Let's go. S one one eight is a textile medium glue. For sixteen ninety five. You have a better view than I do. <laughs> oh, so so also I want to tell you that um you keep keep showing the colors and all um uh Anne Lindenmeyer the other day in our, one of our classes Anne wanted to embellish a panel so she actually used what um put the silk fibers in between two layers of wash away and stitched, did some thread painting and created bark for a tree. So there's a lot of other things you can also use these silks um, Tessa for. You can use it for doll hair, you can use it for all kinds of things. Okay, continue on. Go ahead, Grace. Okay, this one's called Southie Point. Yes. And so it's a bunch of uh, bright oranges and a darker green. Mm -hmm. All right, blue pines in bloom. So it's just blue and purple. There's some violets in there. Good job. Thank Move you. on. And your channel <laughs> ridge. So it's like some yellows, blondes. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Kimmy. Sunset is basically just only. Red, orange, and pinkish. Cool. This one's called Vest Vestivus Bay, and it's a bunch of like emerald greens and blues, aqua blue. Teresa wants to see the teal colored one. Which one was Is that the not this one? one? I want to say it's this one. Is it this one? I consider this teal. Is it that one? Vesuvius Bay is the teal one. Vesuvius Bay. V E S I U S. Can you have to know if this is what Linda McGee uses? No, this is not the same as what Linda McGee uses. She uses, um, oh, um, it's not coming to me right now, but she just sent me a huge shipment of it so we'll have it on next friday sale okay so um so this is kimmy this is what this is silk and when you fuse it together you can create your own fabrics um so this is what we created last wednesday if you watch the demo on wednesday we created this with the silk fibers okay and then um, 
I did ask Susan to give us some mix packs. So girls, you can show them this. So this has some oranges and greens and some reds so that you can make more colors if you're gonna use this for your applique project. So S155, S155 is this color combination. S155, this color. Okay, so you can go ahead and show them all of those. We labeled each of these individually because each pack is different. Uh, S147 is these colors, a blue, a purple, a green. S148 is a red, a blue, an orange, and it kind of has a pinkish. 154 is reds and greens. So there's some greens and then some reds. Closer. S149 is some oranges, a teal, green. I don't know. I don't know our colors. Okay. <laughs> S150 has some purples. There's a red in it. There's some blue. So basically just a mixture of everything. S115 has some dark reds and purples and a green. No, I can't think. All right, 152 has more purples, more blues, some greens, some orange, and some golds. Okay, perfect. And then we do have oh, one, one more. 153 is greens and purples. So that's it for the Tessa silks. We do have more colors in the back room um, that we showed you last week or the week before. Um, so if you if you want different colors, let us know and we can find it for you. These are just the new ones that Susan just sent us this week. And then she also sent us these fun Sari Silk Fiber Packs, uh, multicolored silks from Indi India. It's um, kind of like loose fibers. When you put it into it for your silk, it just kind of gives it more texture and dimension. So it's just fun silk fibery loose fibers. So they'd be great even to like bunch up and put in the center of a flower or, um, I don't know, I think there's a lot of possibilities for these that you just want to have a package in your stash for when you start creating. So these are, um, did we not put a number? Oh, S145, 1795. S145, 1795, and they're just random multicolored packs. Okay, S145, multicolored packs of silk star, sorry, strings, basically. Okay, and then we've got a new wide back in case you need a backing for our jean quilt, or um, it's actually cotton fabric, but it looks like old jeans pieced together, kind of crazy quilt pieced together. So $20 a yard, S130. So like we said before, wide backs are a super good deal, um, but it'd make a great picnic quilt or um, it's basically all crazy patched together, so you wouldn't even have to piece anything if you didn't want to. So S130, $20 a yard for a fabulous wide back. And now we have Gracie's favorite line of fabric. Oh. Oh, yeah. So it says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. Love, it is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, keeps no record of wrongs, does not delight in evil, rejoices with the truth, always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, love never fails. I thought she had that memorized, now it's kind of concerned for a few seconds. Alrighty, so that's the panel. Ah!
Sorry, let me try that again. Don't look at me like that, Dad. Alrighty, that's the panel. Uh, it's S113 for $14. Mary Beattie, we could totally do a journal class on Sunday, during one of our Sundays, because it's they're super easy. But you have to decide if you're going to do it out of the silks or what you want to do it out of. But yeah, we can totally do that. Okay, so the kit, S112, $48 if you want to show them that. And I think with this panel, I'm going to do some dimensional um, leaves and embellish the heck out of it. I think it would be really fun. It'd make for a great wedding quilt. Um, so this quilt is 48 by 54 for this quilt pattern this quilt kit. So um, this is one that the company just put together. So um, S112, $48, and it's 48 by 54. And then we do have a, a three-yard piece um, or backing. So if you don't want to think and you just want the backing for that quilt kit, S114. It says kind, patient, hope, love. Um, I think this one's going to be a really super fun one to embellish. Okay, and then we do have the coordinating yardage. S111. All right, so S110 is like this cream blender fabric. Blend <laughs> water? I totally agree with you. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 <laughs> uh, She says, obviously, this, whoever wrote this love poem has never been married. Uh, and then, S, uh, uh, Rami says we're going to And 11, $13 a yard. It's a teal background with some leaves and flowers on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, move on. He, he's zooming in. Let the man do his job. Oops. Okay, S107. This is the one that is the back, uh, the backing fabric for the kit. Unless you want something else. If you, you can pick any of them that would coordinate. And um, what else? S11, what? S107. S108 is a fun kind of a blendery, kind of looks like uh, bushes. Um, okay. It'd be good bushes in an art quilt. Okay. And then <laughs> here's a fun um, border. I think that's the border in the kit, S109. And then a good blender is S104. All right, the last two bolts of this line are these two. So we have a bright, quirky yellow, which is S105, $13 a yard. Are you on the one I'm looking at? Or are you just, okay. So it's the yellow blender. Okay. And S106, $13 is the gray background with the leaves and flowers on it. So that is S106. That was similar to the background. Oh. We've mentioned <laughs> already. Who needs to call us at their address? No, she picks it up. Oh. She's not there. No, we just don't see it. Okay. And then um Rosie, I do have that. Um, did you put down Rosie just wants the color of silk that I use? This one. Okay. Then we just want to tell you again, we've got the class coming up with um, Linda McGeehy on the 24th of February for, to learn how to use the piping wizard. So a lot of you have already bought the piping wizard. If you haven't, you still have time. S146, $26. 
And that includes a little bundle of so S zero twenty six dollars. And then I just want to tell you real quick about the vest challenge. Um, it's still um in progress. Um, you just need this pattern. Here's the rules. You need this pattern by Gaze, and and um, you have to incorporate I think three different techniques. So this is going to do the quilt show Reno. There's lots of prizes, and then um, it will go straight from the Reno show to the American Sewing Guild show. Which Reno show? Quilt show Reno. There's only one. Yeah, but when? In June. So. And then if you don't have any of the um, wash away wonder tape, um, this is really slick. Peggy Cato can tell you all about it because she uses it, I think. Um, but it is great for home sewing and crafting. A double-sided transparent tape that disappears after the first washing can be sewn through without gumming up your needle. Perfect for holding together seams or hems before stitching or zippers. Um, tape is water soluble, so it should be stored in a cool, dry place when not in use. So wash away tape S141749. And then you're going to want to open those up and show them to them, girls. Alrighty, so these are butterflies. They get all of them, right? No, those are just the four different colors. So these are $4 a piece. So you have to just tell us which color you want. So we have a red and blue one. We have a silver and rainbowish, and then we have a blue and rainbowish. So it's S one fifty two, four dollars per each butterfly. Okay, Kathleen. Oh, uh, Cindy, poor Cindy guy got she was she forgot we did so much on Wednesday she forgot it was Eleanor's class. And then we got these pretty little beaded, what are these? Lace. Lace same things. <laughs> and number 151 and $10 for both of them. They're lace pearl beaded fabric, ladies. Fabric? It's like a collar. Super it's fun texture on a quilt. S151. I should probably put those in my stash if nobody buys it. I didn't even look at it. Okay. S151, $10. Yeah. Hey. Look better on me. Okay. Wait, right here. Right there. So Gracie's going to add this to her shirt. <laughs> Is it a sit down? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right. So this is S150. Can you see it? Is it actually working? Is it staying up? Yes, yes, it's staying. Okay, so it is four dollars and ninety-five cents. Yes, it does, Kathleen. It's kind of fuzzy, in case you guys wanted to know. And then it makes like it makes noise. So yeah, uh, that is four dollars and ninety-five cents. Yes. Okay. So these ones are a smaller version of the butterflies. We got some red roses. This one is $5. There should be some sets. So here's the difference in the sizes of the butterflies. This one was the medium one for $4, the small ones for $2, the large ones for $5. And then this one, you get all four of these roses for $15. What are the butterflies made of pennies asking? They're embroidered and there is a fusible on the back but the fusible, um, I find that I either I don't heat it enough or something, but they do have sequins on them. So you're going to want, can you cut that open? They have sequins on them. So you're going to want to use your pressing sheet so that you don't melt it when you, um, when you iron it. But it, it has a fusible on the back. 
And then we have a set of, for $15, if you don't want to think about it, for $15, we've got a big one, a small one, and two medium ones. So, you I mean, two small ones, a medium one, and a large one? Okay, yeah. <laughs> good job, good job. Okay, so that's the embroidered butterflies. I showed them on, I had them on that ombre quilt, that table runner that I showed you guys um, the other day, and that's when you guys asked for them to be on the Friday sale. Okay, so then we have a couple of, um, fun little hair pins or hat pins, or you could also use them as stilettos. You could use them as a weapon. A weapon, poke somebody's eye out. That's always an option. Um, but a stiletto for when you're sewing so that you don't sew your finger. A lot of people use a stiletto. Um, I don't because I would just sew over the stiletto. So these are $23.95 a piece. You can just tell us which one you like if you want one. They've got vintage buttons on them. So here is, um, if I can get it out of here without breaking it. Somebody did a good job getting that in there. Here, Grace, you want to get that one out? I mean, I can. I mean, you could. It's a fun apple green. So it's a vintage button and you can see here where they put the stiletto stick where in the shank. So it's $23.95. It's an apple green. It looked good, Grace. You can put your hair up and then put that in there. And then we have a fun crystally one. Crystal, that's the word. We're really good at speaking. Or you could say diamonds, except for that they would like, um, I don't know, cut your head off to steal it if they were real diamonds. Mm -hmm. And then we have a fun red, white, and blue heart one. With a blue cross in the middle. Oh yeah, Connie, it's perfect for a shawl pin. If you're a knitter, it would be a perfect shawl pin. Okay, so Gracie and Grace, Babies. do you girls want to? Um, so if you're watching this after the fact, um, we do leave this video up. Um, you can place an order through the whole weekend um, and probably Monday too. We leave the numbers on everything through Monday and then on Monday, um, once we get the orders cut and filled, then we take the numbers off and then you can't order it anymore because we can't go back and find the numbers. So, so I've got a fun Temtex um, mug rug uh, kit here. What do you have, Grace? I need Okay, Sue Cobb. Okay, and then I've got another one. Connie. Connie Wick. Hope you girls like kitty cats. Okay, and then we have Diana Hensley. Diana Hensley. Here's the quotation fabric that we've got just got in. Okay, and then another one, Gracie. So if you are new to this, at the end of our show, we always do a lot of giveaways. Judy Baxter. So these were donated by our sales rep, Mario. She's a cat lady. Yes. Perfect. Well, now you got some, some coasters to make. Peggy Cato. Peggy Cato. So if you girls need more fabric to go along with these samples that you're getting, you know where to get them because we have that entire line. Glenn Jenkins. Is Devin there? No. Yeah, we're Oh no, Greta has it. Okay, and then the next person. Here, scroll that and pick a name. Sue Crater. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Next name? Teresa Dasman. Okay, Teresa. Dorothy Gerard. Gerard. Oh, Dorothy, you're going to like this. Look at these are the ombres with a little gold metallic. Ann Lindenmeyer. Okay, Ann Lindenmeyer. You get another one. I hope those are your colors. Kathleen Ryder. Kathleen Ryder. Mary Beattie. Oh, Miss Mary, I hope. Oh, here. Mary, I think, Mary, do you want oranges or greens? I know you're a green girl. I'm going to let you pick because I think you were, you were supposed to get oranges, but I think you'd rather have green. But if you want the orange, let me know right now. Okay, who's the, who's the next one? The next one's going to get whichever one Mary doesn't want. Green, she said. I knew she would want that. Okay, and then Cindy Gygax. Okay, and then we have who's the next one? Sabo. Diane Sabo. All right, Diane Sabo. Uh, Rondi Reedy. Okay, Rondi Rees. Rosalind Menard. Rosie. Okay, Penny Barker. Miss Penny. Okay, who's the next? Mary Beattie. Mary B. Oh, she can't win again. Somebody else. Mary Men. What are they? I have it. The thick stuff? Yeah, I have some upstairs. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I think that there I think there's a roll that rolled down to the bottom of the stairs. Um to get their name and number and we'll call them back. But I'm I'm pretty sure there's I have a roll. Mary Men. Okay, Mary Men. Lane. Mark. <coughs> oh, Lynn Bonner. Okay. There's some fun reproductions. Um, make a small project because you know you're not going to find anything to go with this here. Kim Hawker. All right, Timmy. Okay. Nope, Carolyn Gabernet. Yeah. It's not quite like Kate Bassett, Carolyn, but you can maybe find something to do with it. Beverly Ann. Okay, Beverly Ann. Peggy Cato. Peggy. I know, it was a good day to, li to look today. Mm -hmm. Phyllis Holmes. Phyllis Holmes. Oh, you'll like that, Phyllis. Sunflowery and springy. You can make uh, placemats or something for your new kitchen. Linda Hallwagon. Oh, look, Linda, you got a panel here. This is when we're still selling. We just got it in, actually. Karen McBray. Karen McBrayer. Okay, Karen. Okay, Karen McBrayer. And then we have some fun things. Like, we just got to the end of my mom's special treasure box that she brought for Thanksgiving. 
So it makes the cutest little, I'm not really sure what, but I think you make a little, um, it's got a little wreath in there and some ribbons and then a tiny little ornament. I think you glue into the center of the wreath. Flip it over. Okay, this is the next thing. Dorothy. Dorothy Gerard. Hi there. How are you? Uh, you can come in here. Uh, Ann Haley is making a surprise visit, girls. Um, you know Ann? She's my quilting treasures rep. Okay. She must be here for something important, but I don't know what. <laughs> Okay, so much for door prizes because Anne's here. So we'll save these for Monday or Wednesday oh, or no, oh. no, that's okay. We've already done a bunch. Okay. That's for me. Okay, what what's Love what do you got, Anne? Love never fails. Oh, look at we just had it on the sale. Yeah. So I was bringing by oh, a project you can do with it. Oh, we might so you girl, yeah. you might need us to show you the fabric line again. Okay. Here she's going to show you. Okay. So here's another kit that you can do. So if you want this kit, let me know. Yeah, and maybe some other ideas. Close up drama. So this is the kit that we put together for you. So see how cute it looks behind that chair. Oh, well, I want the chair that's upholstered in that color. It's like springy apple green, so cute. I think my grandma had a chair that color, actually. Okay, so there's the two projects. All right, so Anne is with Quilting Treasures. Anne, maybe you should tell them again about the contest that's going on right now. Oh, yes, yes, and we had some great, some of you entered when I talked about this. A couple weeks ago, yeah. weeks or so ago. Um, it is uh, it's called Open Air, and you can go to QT Fabrics Facebook page or Instagram. It's totally free, no purchase necessary. All you have to do, so easy. I'm gonna put my purse down. So easy. You just go to QT Fabric, no S on Facebook, no space, no S. QT Fabric. Our Facebook page or QT Fabrics with an S on Instagram and you post a picture of nature like it can be a dandelion it can be your dog we don't care any picture but you must tag QT Fabrics um, and you must mention your favorite shop your favorite quilt or fabric shop oh my which one would you mention <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you mentioned that, and you are entered to win. All you do is post a picture. You can post one every day, one picture every day, and you're entered to win a great uh, kit. Uh, it's 125. I can bring it in and, and show it, but it's a it's a free kit. It's a $125 value. You get a charm pack to make this quilt. You don't need all these charms. It's a, we call it a chubby charm pack. I'm gonna go grab one. Okay. Uh, 102 charms and uh, the fabric to make this uh, quilt top, the binding and all the backing. It's a great project. That's free to enter and kind of fun. You can post any picture you want. You gotta name your favorite shop or your entry is not valid. Hmm. So think hard about what shop you would you would mention in don't think post. too hard <laughs> yeah don't get crazy now we'll just tell you the answer it might be a little bit of cheating it could be fabric chips you can write it on your hand fabric chips so you don't forget <laughs> fabric chips that's the only right fabric answer. chips that's, that's really all you have really. to do you go to qt fabric no s on, <laughs> on facebook and you can go every day and enter yeah one entry per day don't fabric you want chips. fabric chips to fabric be the winner chips. Whoop, whoop. Fabric chips. So you enter your when you do that, you're entered to win this great quilt kit that I'm gonna go grab and show you. And if if big if I have you mention fabric chick, then that shop is also entered to win bolts of this great fabric. So um know, yeah, right? yeah. So she doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> um, hello, I have to educate you every day. I have to remind you, enter, 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 enter. So I'll grab that. 
Thank you. All okay. Right, my brother. All right. Perfect. Okay. So while we're waiting for Ann to run out to the the car and grab that. Um, we can do a few more um, raffle uh, prep your prizes. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's. Oh, Greta reminded us we gotta do our twenty-five dollar shares. Let's do four. Four. <laughs> Grace said three. She wants to be able to eat tonight. Rosalind Brainerd. Rosie. Mary Beatty. Mary Beatty. Rondi Reeves. Rondi. Lynn Bonner. Lynn Bonner. Okie doke. Remember, you have to use those this week. So if you didn't make any purchases, then we just put it back into the kitty. Kathleen Rader says, make sure you give city the state of the shop on entry. Okay. Gardnerville? Gardnerville, Nevada. Nevada. It's on our website. Gardnerville, and on Nevada. Our Facebook page. Yeah. Okay. Um, so a few more door prizes while we wait for Ian to come back. So I have some no six no pin hem clip hem clips. Yeah. Hem. Did we already get Mary Men? Uh Mary Men's won something. Karen McBriar. Karen yes. McBriar won something. Phyllis. Phyllis Holmes won something. Uh Linda. Linda Hall Wagner. Dorothy. What about Dorothy? Dorothy won something. Kathleen. Diane. Yeah. Sable. Diane Sable won something. Penny Barger says she'll answer every day for you. Anne okay, Penny. Penny. Yay! You're my favorite. Did you get Anne? Yeah. Did everybody already win something? Yeah, I guess so. You don't Did we get Bev Ann? Yeah, I think Bev Ann won something. Did we get Peggy? Peggy won something. Peggy. Okay, so I have something for free. Anybody who wants this, I have no idea what it is. But it says, oh, oh no. Katie, Katie didn't win? No. Oh, so Katie, rude. Katie didn't win. Okay, Katie. If anybody wants these, just type it in. I don't know what these metal things are. Just type it in if you want it. Um, Katie, you tell me what you want. Do you want one of these little Christmas ornaments? Or do you want the hem clips? Or do you want some already made coasters? You tell me what you want, Katie. Anybody want these metal things? One of them says Spanish and then 1973. They're so random. I have no idea. Hola. Hola. Como esta? Muy bien. I'll see you. See? Katie Bantar wants the posters. Okay. Lynn Jenkins will take one of the brackets. Okay. Which one you want, Lynn? You can use it to beat someone up. That's an idea. Not trying to be violent. <laughs> okay. All right. So Anne's going to show us what she's got. So this is a picture of the quilt kit. And so that's a picture of the finished quilt. Again, we're using these nature fabrics. But what you get, that, you know? Says it's out by 74 inches? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's a good size quilt. Um, and, but you get this charm pack of 102, we call it a chubby charm pack, uh, of 102 charms. So it's not just your typical charm pack of all of these new different nature fabrics um, and yeah so I think I showed you the big quilt the big sample I had so really the the quilt doesn't take that many charms so you're going to have some left over you can play around and place them in this quilt the way you want to it can vary you know depending on what which of the charms you like and um and have a lot left over. So um, it's a fun one. If you win, uh, you'll really have fun with that. But it's a good size quilt, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, and I think you'll have fun too, posting pictures of of nature, backyard nature. I think it's a real timely topic for COVID, where we're all stuck at home. But getting outside is a good way to to uh, avoid getting depressed during these times. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me okay today. 
anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, then, of course, you get all the other fabrics it takes to make this, as well as the backing, which I think is, uh, I can't remember. I think it's a blue, watery one. It's very pretty. Anyway, that's that. Uh, also, hopefully, Beth. Yeah. Well, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a customer Beth that's saying she can't, could not find out how to enter. Okay, Facebook or Instagram. I'll tell, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it again. Okay, okay, good. If you can zero in, this is the poster that I'm going to leave here with Beth. <laughs> um, on this blue part on the bottom, the blue words on the bottom. Okay. The QT fabric, no S, no space. That's what you should enter for Facebook. Sorry, Rosa. Uh, for Facebook, QT fabric with an S is what you should search for on Instagram. Adam? Okay. Yeah. If you do that, I know it's trippy, but if you do that, you'll find it. Perfect. Okay, do you ladies have any questions for Ann? So Ann works for Quilting Treasures Fabrics. She's a sales rep, and she's been in several times. Uh, we've interviewed her, and um, she always brings us fun goodies. And yeah, and she talks a lot of times. She'll tell us um, the, about digital fabrics. So if you have any questions about digital fabrics or the process or why fabrics are running behind. Or why fabrics <laughs> prices are increasing. Now's your time to voice all your issues. Um, well, I have an issue. What? Where are we going to eat? <laughs> 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 you have a reservation? I have that issue. I have priorities. Also, there's, um, a, there's a protein drink in there, girls. I'm going to ask Beth to go to our digital toolkit. Um, actually, you guys can do it too on qtfabrics.com, which is our website, not our social media. Uh, you can, there's an icon for the digital toolkit. You can read all about this stuff too. It's really meant for shop owners, but we put it there on the, um, for anybody to see. So there's the official rules, uh, the all kinds of stuff about the contest. So if you really want to understand all about this contest, you want to see everything a shop owner could see about the contest, you if can you go want to be in the know. Yeah, if you want to know. Mm -hmm. um, it's there. Um, so I was going to have asked Beth to post all that on her Facebook page, but if you want to go direct and see it yourself before she has time to do that, which she may never do. It could <laughs> never happen around here. Yeah. Although Devin's um, here, so he could do it. Yeah. So, so um, saying that Facebook this, won't let her enter QT fabric. All right. I'll check it out. Uh, yeah. Um, if you have a private Facebook page. So if you set your settings on Facebook as a private member, you're not going to be able to enter. So that might be the problem, but I, I don't know. I'll check and make sure that we're not having a problem with our page. So it could be on our end. But if you have a private Facebook page where only the people that you let see your posts, you're not going to be able to enter. So you might try Instagram or something else. That's the only way that she might have a problem that I know of, but I'll also have our people check and make sure we're not having problems. But if you go to qtfabrics.com, our website, not our social media, and see this icon, you can open up everything about the website. Thank you. It's this picture here. Click on that. You'll see everything you would ever want to know about the open air contest giveaway. Okay, and then also I'm going to put this around on you. This is a little free block that we're giving away, which is kind of fun. You know, sometimes it's fun to make one block of something. Sometimes, uh, you know, just to play, not put pressure on yourself to make a whole quilt. Uh, you can turn it into a pillow or... Yeah, it's a 12-inch block. Or you can make a bunch of them and turn it into a quilt. Do whatever yeah. you want. So that's the instructions for that are in that. Um, or you could ask Beth to post it for you. And I might, <laughs> or I might not. You just never know. Um, what I like to do personally and um, is if I'm making a quilt, I like to make a test block 
out of my favorite colors, which happened to be blue and white. And because um, often like you give away your quilt and, and uh, you don't want to make a test block if it's a new technique, especially out of the fabrics that you're making the quilt out of, because then you might run out of fabric if you make a mistake when you make the test block. And so I always make them out of blue, my favorite blue and white fabric. And so I have a whole bunch of blue and white blocks. And then I can, you know, eventually, hopefully, I'll make a sampler quilt out of all those blocks. And then sometimes, you know, and maybe it's this block, but maybe you don't ever want to make a whole quilt out of it. You're just having fun. You're just playing. And on, if you ever open this digital toolkit or if Beth ever posts it for you, it could happen. <laughs> you know, we make suggestions about what to do with one block. Like she says, make a pillow out of it or just quilt it and hang it in a funny space. Like, you know, over that little space above your refrigerator or in your bathroom, like maybe turn your bathroom into a little uh, museum, you know, where you're, you're, you're doing little quilts of, you know, little works of art that you change all the time. Obviously I wrote the post because if you read it in the digital toolkit, you'll see those are my ideas, but you might have lots of ideas of your own of what to do with just single blocks. Um, but the, you know, single blocks can be really fun and playful to do. You know, because it really frees you to just play instead of feeling like a project you have to finish someday. Or maybe you have some fabrics that you just fell in love with, but you don't know what to do with. And that was five years ago. <laughs> make a single block, you know. Or don't make the fabric so you can buy the fabric you really love now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, no more questions. No, no. That's question. it. Sorry, I just thought Bob, you didn't even know I was going to be I here. know. It was yeah. a surprise visit. Surprise! She doesn't even... Obviously, she doesn't read my emails because she doesn't know that we're actually closed to the public on Fridays. I did know that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my son, Ethan, is here uh, with me. Hi. Hey, Ethan. How are you? I'm good. Good. Uh, good. I, I told him as we walked up, I said, I don't think they're open. Yep. Yeah. No, but we, we I do. thought maybe you just said to me you weren't open. Well, yeah, I <laughs> might have. Um, no, we're trying to get... Um, you know, get caught up. So we're not open yeah. to the public on Mondays and Fridays. But ladies, you can always call and make an appointment on Mondays and Fridays. And a lot of times I'm here on Saturdays too. You can call and make an appointment. We're just not open for like the looky-loos because we actually share a parking lot with a dentist office. And so a lot of times they have to wait in their car until they get called to come in. So they just come over here to kill time and they just want to chit chat about the weather and we don't have time for that. So if you want to come in and you want to spend your money, we're happy to open up for you any time of the day or night. All right. Thanks for right. letting me join you. Okay. Good to see you. All right. Thank you. Was that like a handshake? Uh -huh. I'm like, I don't know. Everybody's doing these weird moves. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, all right. So we want to thank all you for right. joining us today thank on you. Friday. We will, um, for our celebration, oops, we will see you on Monday. Um, if you have any ideas of what you want us to demo or anybody you want us to try to get to interview, um, just put it in the comments because um, we go back and we read those and we will um, see you if you want to do Sunday's Zoom. Kathleen Raider says she just entered again and numerous entries with fabric chicks. Perfect. Yay, Kathleen. Um, if you want to join our Sunday Zoom, it's from one to four ish. Um, we do, um, we do. If you have a favorite tip or trick or tool, we love to learn about that. Um, if you have something that you need help with, there's always somebody there who has an answer for you. Um, we will see you on Sunday or we will, and we do post the Sunday Zoom link on the Fabric Chick Stitch Along, which is on the side of the um, our Facebook page. So we will see you on Sunday or we'll see you on Monday at noon for our regular scheduled um, noon with fabric chicks. All right. All right. See ya. See ya.